Hi YouTube, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for this video, I want to talk about how your haters, your enemies, scoffers, and people who are highly negative and spiteful are starting to just spy on you, stalk you, non-stop. They're constantly just keeping their eyes and their ears on you. They're listening to every single thing that you say, every single thing that you do. They watch every single move. They want to try to keep up with what is going on in your life and try to figure out what is it about you that makes you so valuable. So they're starting to study you and try to depict every single part of you, to try to understand you and to figure you out. So these, some of these people were sent on assignment to distract you from your purpose. And some of these people even attacked you emotionally and tried so hard to make you doubt yourself and make you question your own self-worth by the way that they were treating you and the way that they were making you feel about yourself. Now, they thought that their attack that they did onto you was going to work in their favor. They actually believed that when they spoke ill into your life and they projected negativity towards you, and some of them even did witchcraft against you and went to a witch to try to figure you out and try to see how to stop you from attaining your purpose. It didn't work. It backfired onto them. And the beginning of the new year, there was a major energy shift. And this is when they received a backlash for their bad actions towards you, their karma. Life is handling each and every single person who came and went against you because God was not going to allow their weapons to prosper against your life. And that is why God had to show you in 2021 exactly who and the traps and the type of people that were trying to set you up for failure and trying so hard to keep you stuck and stagnant from being able to reach your goals. Now, the enemy honestly knows that you have greatness and a tons of potential within you. But the enemy tries so hard to deceive you into believing that you don't have those good qualities while the enemy studies you and tries to mimic each quality that they like about you. They secretly get inspired from watching you. And this is where envy comes from. Envy is a very evil spirit that overtakes people and it causes them to want what someone else has and it also causes them to make that person that has those blessings feel that they don't deserve what they have and that those things that they have should be taken away from them so 
What you need to be very careful of is people who are studying you and watching you because they're trying to find out where your weaknesses are, your strengths, what you like, what you dislike. Every single thing about your life, they're trying to learn every single thing about you. And most of these people have bad hidden motives towards you. So you need to be very aware of the silent abuse inflicted from your enemies. It's still a spiritual warfare, even when there's no words involved, because you can feel their negative, low vibrational energies when you come around them. There's your silent haters, and they still are trying to destroy you from reaching your full potential. Always keep that in mind, that just because they don't say a word to you, just because they go silent on you, it doesn't mean that their attack is over. Most of them are just preparing a perfect time when to try to come in towards you to try to attack you and break down your spirit again. But this time they're waiting for the perfect opportunity and the perfect timing to try again to put you down. Be very aware of that. Also be aware of people who are trying to study things that you like, things that you truly value. And they're also going to try to come into your life pretending to be everything that you ever wanted and wished for because they study you and they start to pick up, well, what is it that she likes or what is it that she wants? Maybe I can pretend to be everything that she wants. And so they're going to put on this act and pretend that they're everything that you ever wanted. And it's too good to be true. Always be very careful of certain doors that open in your life. Because some of these doors can come from the enemy. So trust when you feel that something is off and something feels ingenuine. Because the enemy is also good at pretending to be like you and as spiritually awakened as you are. And also pay attention to the words, the type of energy behind their words that they speak. So I wanna talk about the difference between wicked people and righteous people. But I also want to say that what the enemy is after mostly has to do with your energy and your consciousness. They want the consciousness, that's what they're after. They want to try to steal your consciousness away from you. And that is something that they envy. The fact that you're highly intelligent, that you're able to see through the lies, that's one thing that's very powerful about you and your soul. The devil and his workers, they recognize a good soul when they see it. They recognize your light. They're not oblivious of your light. 
and they don't want it to exist because it goes against everything that they think in their life because you're the truth and they can't stand the fact that you actually speak the truth whenever you talk and so they need to try to gaslight you and they'll try to make you feel that you have no idea what you're talking about. They're going to try to gaslight you and make it seem that you're crazy. That you're not seeing things clearly. But it's all because they want to try to deceive you. So don't fall for it. So... Wise ways to live. A soft answer turns away wrath, but grievous words stir up anger. The tongue of the wise uses knowledge. A right but the mouth of fools pours out foolishness. The eyes of the Lord are in every place, beholding the evil and the good. So even when Decepticons try to get near you. God will always give you the answers before the enemy deploys its attack upon you. So God is going to give you the signs and the warning signs of when someone tries to get near you and has bad intentions towards you. God can see exactly through the people. He sees through their eyes and he sees their mind and he knows what each person thinks and he knows which people are against God's children. And so God is making sure to protect each and every single chosen one on this earth. And he's not going to allow the enemy to take down the chosen ones. We also need to realize that there are all angels walking amongst us who are also protecting us. And so your enemies have to do everything in the dark. They have to plan against you in the dark where you are unable to see what's going on but God and your light will always show what lies your enemies have been trying to hide from you so that is why your enemies avoid you because when you come around you're able to see that they have bad intentions towards you that they secretly hate you and they're envious and they don't want you to be happy and to live a prosperous life and what we fail to realize in the spiritual realm is that your enemies are watching you but your enemies are also being watched by other highly spiritually gifted individuals other chosen ones are also watching what your enemies are doing to you and they're keeping track and they're keeping a record and they're noting every single thing that your enemy has tried to do to you and they know that you don't deserve to be put through what the enemy tries to put you through and those spiritually gifted people are also aware 
that they have to protect you. That their calling is to also protect other chosen ones. And so, many of your enemies in this year are going to have to go through the consequences and are going to have to face hardships and difficulties in their lives for trying to go against a chosen one, a person that was sent here to the earth to help them evolve, to help them find the light in their darkness, and to also be a light of hope in their lives. And now they feel truly lost because they thought that their plan to destroy you was going to help them in their lives and that they were somehow going to become better than you and prosper in life. But now they're going through it really badly. The pain that they tried to inflict on you, God has given them a very tough lesson that they must learn. And you cannot go back near them because this is the time of separation. God needed you to see them for who they were. And God needed you to understand that they were never for you, that they were always against you. Even when they smiled in your face and greeted you and pretended to be happy for you. These people were wishing that you would suffer and that, would, that you would stay as miserable as they are. And it didn't work because God did not allow it to work. And so now what we have to do is be unafraid and fearless of speaking our truth. The enemy's time has finally ran short. The enemy doesn't have the time to defeat you anymore. You finally won the spiritual battle and your enemy knows that. And that's why your enemy is quiet because you silenced your enemy without having to do anything. God took control and rewrote their plan and crossed it out because it wasn't going to prosper. And so what you must do is you, you must start to speak the truth. Start to say exactly what these people did to you and what you went through. Because they thought that you were going to stay silent and that you were never going to speak up. But God gave you the authority to rebuke your enemies and to speak your truth. So don't be afraid to say exactly what it is and to say what these people or trying to do to you, to destroy you. They had no care for your feelings at all. They were careless when it came to your emotions. They didn't care that their behaviors were going to hinder your life. And so now, 
you have to speak the truth to expose each and every wicked person who came against you. Your light will always overpower their darkness. So don't ever feel that you have to remain silent. The tongue of the wise will use knowledge. All right, but the mouth of fools pours out foolishness. A wholesome tongue is a tree of life, but perverseness therein is a breach in the spirit. A fool despises his father's instruction, but he that regards reproof is prudent. The lips of the wise disperse knowledge, but the heart of the foolish does not so. The sacrifice of the wicked is an abomination to the Lord, but the prayer of the upright is his delight. The way of the wicked is an abomination unto the Lord, but he loves him that follow after righteousness. Correction is grievous unto him that forsake that way. He that hates reproof shall die. A scorner loves not one that reproof him, neither will go on to the wise. So, what we have to also learn how to do during these times is to protect our energy, protect our minds from not being contaminated with neg negative thoughts or to not take on other people's insecurities and their self-hatred. Learn how to separate and detach your energy from sources that are doing nothing but depleting you. Also understand that the wicked people are not powerful as you are. They're very weak spirited individuals. And that's why everything that they do is covertly done. They can never overtly try to destroy you because they know that you will speak the truth and the truth will always take them down so do not lose sight of your purpose and do not allow your silent haters to stop anything in your life focus on yourself on growing spiritually and make sure that you are seeking the truth through God's guidelines and what he expects us to be. We have to continue to walk in his light. That way God can continue to internally bless us and allow our our light to shine even brighter and brighter every each day. So do not allow anyone to distract you from the truth by trying to manipulate your emotions. Make sure that you are using logic and going with God's truth, which is he's the only one who speaks the truth. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Continue to be yourselves, continue to stay true to who you are, and continue to share that beautiful light with the world. Bye.